This project has an environmental side to it that's challenging. Our goal is no net loss on this project. We've engaged Dr. Vaughn to bring his research and knowledge to Grand Cayman. There's a lot of coral. We understand the, the impact to that, but our responsibility is to move that coral and to supplement that program with adding Dr. Vaughn's coral restoration process through microfragmentation. In 1975, I came to Grand Cayman for a couple of months doing a special independent study of the corals and the seagrasses and the seaweeds around the island. And I learned at that time how beautiful the coral reefs were of that place and what a special place it is. So 45 years later, here I am coming back and trying to help those coral reefs. Well, some of the biggest questions people had is, can we do this at scale? And so we looked to start a project that was plant a million corals. Not only is it basically a good idea, it's our mission, it's our vision, and as I like to say sometimes, it's the recipe. Not only do we make many pieces, but each piece grows back to size in record time, which is very unusual. Our skin does not grow very fast, but as all of us growing up has fallen and maybe taken a coin-sized piece of skin off of our knee or our elbow as we were learning to ride a bicycle or learn to skateboard, that skin grows back and heals over in just a couple weeks and then stops and the coral does the same thing. So we can take advantage of not making a large piece of coral fragment, but a micro fragment, and many of them. What's great about the micro fragmentation technique and some of the other coral reskinning things that we do is we're able to see this actively happen before our very eyes. We can see it happen in a matter of months with each coral that we cut and plant. There is hope with corals, which is unusual because most people thought it would take hundreds of years, and it usually does, maybe thousands of years to come back on its own. This new technology is a game changer for corals that gives us hope, and it gives especially the young people. There's hope, we can build it back, and we can build it back in our lifetime, let alone their lifetime. The scalability is something that's hard for people to comprehend because we've all grown up knowing that corals grow very, very slow. And now I'm up to 100,000 corals have been grown and planted. I'd like to see that number done every year, and it's possible. We look at a place like Grand Cayman where so much is based on tourism, and the ocean is such a big part of life there. This is an opportunity. We have a way to really show that economy, businesses can change a practice and, and turn something into a positive environmental movement. That's what this is. And we can make something beautiful again. We have that technology. It'd be a shame to not apply it. So it's something that seeing is believing and everybody that has visited where we've planted or where we're growing them becomes a believer and wants to be involved. I hope to see Grand Cayman be looked at as the coral capital of the Caribbean.